welcome to the Putnam County School District Spelling Bee for 2020. I'm Laura France. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum Instruction. I want to thank you, the School Bee Coordinators, for each one of the school sites, for your dedication in holding the School Spelling Bee Contest, as well as the hours you have spent calling words to students in practice. This practice allows them to be able to achieve the honor of being the School Bee Champion at your school. Thank you parents, friends, and family for your support of these students as they vie to be the district champions and I have no doubt that you've been calling words at home as well. Most of all, congratulations to the 14 students who qualified for the School B. They have worked very hard and have earned their place at the top of their school and they, one of them will be the winner today. At this time, I'd like to call our Spelling Bee participants up. As I call your name, you're going to take a seat in the order that I've called you. From Browning Pierce, we have Jasmine Moreau. <laughs> From CL Overturf 6th Grade Center, we have Leona Yost. That is a change in your program. Leona. <laughs> From Interlochen Elementary, Noah Turner. From James A. Long, Kylie Shepherd. From Jenkins Middle School, Ariana Clark. From Kelly Smith Elementary School, Tyriana Cole. From Mellon Elementary, Chad Parrott. From Melrose, Melrose Elementary School, Snow Whitman. <laughs> Middleton Burney Elementary School, Krista Harvey. <laughs> from Miller Middle, our winner from last year's school, uh, spelling bee, Armand Kirkendall. From Mosley Elementary, Robert Gillen III. From Aquila Elementary, Lucas Calazzo. Pinal Baptist Academy, Jolie Tucker. From Putnam Academy of Arts and Sciences, Jimmy Daughtry. And we have a return, QI Roberts, uh, QI Roberts Junior Senior High, Colton Palmer, who was our runner-up last year. Congratulations again, all of you, for making your school spelling bee. At this time, I'd like to recommend, uh, recognize members of our community who are also supporting this competition. The superintendent, Dr. Serency, who is sorry he cannot be here today. I'd like to recognize Carl Flagg and his family. They are the ones who provide the trophies for our students. And Carla Flagg Wright is here today. There she is. Thank you for your family's support. I'd like to recognize John, jo, Joan, John, <laughs> Jane Crawford, sorry, and Helen Muir and Yvonne Parrish as our judges today. The true star of the show who will be running the spelling bee is Mr. Joe Pickens. And I'll get it right this time. I'd like to recognize our board members, Jane Crawford, Bud McGinnis, and Holly Pickens for also being here today to support our students. <laughs> Channel 4 is here today also. They are the um, regional spelling bee um, sponsor, so today, if you are the winner, you will probably be focused on, or just a snippet on the news tonight. So, no pressure, but thank you, WJXT and Channel 4. <laughs> and the winner will also be invited to um, attend the board meeting on the 14th, the, the 4th of next month to be recognized as well. I want to go over the protest rules real quick, 
and then I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Pickens. If you need an appeal, the speller's parent, legal guardian, or teacher may appeal to the judges for the, st the speller's reinstatement, provided that the appeal is in compliance with the appeal protocol. The judges render a final decision on the appeal in accordance with the reinstatement pr protocol. Our appeals person is Ms. Jessica Stallings in the back. Please turn and she's waving her hand. Thank you, Jessica. A written appeal must be hand delivered to the designated official. The deadline for delivering an appeal is before the speller affected would have received his or her next word had she or he stayed in the spelling bee. However, to minimize disruptions to the spelling bee, every effort should be made to deliver an appeal by the end of the round in which the speller was eliminated. When few, five or fewer spelling bees rem, spellers remain, the written appeal requirement is suspended and an oral appeal must be made before the speller would have re received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the spelling bee. A written appeal must provide the speller's name and the word in question and the reason the speller should be reinstated. While the competi competition is in session, individuals who have filed appeals may not directly approach the judges unless explicit permission to approach the judges have been given. The judges will contact the speller if they decide to reinstate the speller. To minimize disruption to the pace of the spelling bee and the concentration of the spellers, the judges are under no obligation to stop the spelling bee in order to discuss with the speller's parents, legal guardian, or teacher a denied appeal. The judge's decisions are final and the subject neither to review nor to reversal by the Scripps National Spelling Bee's headquarter office. All right, so now that the formal formalities have been done, let's have Mr. Pickens go over the rest of the rules with your contestants. Okay, well, good, good morning and welcome. And actually, the, the, the true stars of this show are, are the young men and women who are going to participate in this. And so I have a couple of preliminary thoughts. First of all, parents, um, I know how you feel. My daughter Bailey won the spelling bee in 1999 and 2000. It's hard to believe that it's been 20 years. And I've... Um, I've played competitive sports and I've served in the Florida legislature and I've spoken at conferences all over the country on education issues and other things. And by far the most nervous I have ever been in my life is when I was watching Bailey in the spelling bee. Um, so I, when I tell you that I know how you feel, I know, I know how you feel. The second most nervous I've ever been in my life is each year when I do this and you would be surprised um, the pressure that I feel to make sure that everything goes um, the way that it should. And with the help of our judges, so far each year that I've done this, um, it's, gone very, it's gone very smoothly. The rules, um, as were explained to you, are the same rules that you worked under when you competed in and won at the school level, including the end of B rules. Um, I'm going to repeat them, but you should know them, and that is that when we are down to um, one or two or three and occasionally four spellers, uh, remember that when only one person spells a word correctly in a round, that person isn't the winner yet. That person moves on to the next round and that person must spell a word co correctly by him or herself in a round where they are the only person in it in order to be the winner. If um, a person misspells a word in what is the final round, then everyone who was in the previous round returns um, to participate again. I'll also remind you um, that you are able to ask the origin of a word. You're able to ask me to um, use it in a sentence, and you're able to ask me for a definition. The, um, the information provided with respect to the origin, um, the sentence that I will use it in, and the definition that I will give you are all provided to us um, by scripts, and so they are, they are in the book. We're going to go through a practice round, so we're going to go through um, one round using the words from what we have as page one, uh, words one through 75. But when we start the B um, for real after the practice round, then we're going to move to words 76 and start, and start from there. Last, um, let me remind you that when you're spelling, take your time, speak slowly and clearly and loudly into 
um, the microphone. Y'all have noticed that you're all shapes and sizes, and so make sure that you have adjusted the microphone so that um, you're comfortable um, in speaking into it. And last, and but certainly not least, maybe more important, it's going to be um, your natural tendency to look at me when you spell the word, because I'm the one that is calling the word out to you, and you'll be looking at me when I call out the word. Please try to remember to look at the judges when you are spelling the word. And we'll remind you um, during the course of the B, um, but that is one of the most important things they need to be able to see you. Um, spell the word. Um, sometimes that helps them in making a final decision. Is there anything else that I need to cover? Judges? Okay, so judges, now we're going to start with um, number 76. The word is jumbo. Jumbo. J-U-M-B-O. Jumbo. Correct. The word is mister. Mister. M-I-S-T-E-R. Mister. Correct. The word is ladybug. Ladybug. L-A-D-Y-B-U-G. Ladybug. Correct. <coughs> the word is nacho. Nacho. N-A-C-H-O. Nacho. Correct. The word is keyhole. Keyhole. K-E-Y-W-H-O-L-E. -E, keyhole. That is incorrect. Correct spelling is K-E-Y-H-O-L-E. -E. So have a, um, have a seat in the, in the audience. The word is flute. Flute, F-L-U-T-E, flute. Correct. The word is bagpipe. Bagpipe, B-A-G-P-I-P-E, bagpipe. Correct. The word is bother. Bother. B O T H E R. Bother. Correct. The word is honey bee. Honey bee. H O N E Y B E E. Honey bee. Correct. <coughs> the word is foxes. Definition. Any of various alert carnivorous mammals related to the wolves but smaller, with shorter legs, more pointed muscle, large upright ears, and a long bushy tail. Foxes, F-O-X-E-S, foxes. Correct. The word is glimmer. Glimmer, G-L-I-M-E-R, glimmer. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is G-L-I-M-M-E-R. The word is golden. Golden. G-O-L-D-E-N. Golden. Correct.
The word is savvy. Savvy. S A V V Y. Savvy. Correct. The word is eggplant. Eggplant. E G G P L A N T. Eggplant. Correct. The word is relish. Sentence. Cameron put ketchup, onions, and pickle relish on his hot dog. Relish. R relish. R-E-L-I-S-H. Relish. Correct. The word is shrimp. Shrimp. S-H-I-R-M-P. Shrimp. That is incorrect. The spelling is S-H-R-I-M-P. The word is purse. Sentence, please. Kathleen tossed her sunglasses and keys into her purse and headed out the door. Purse. P-U-R-S-E. Purse. Correct. The word is boycott. Boycott. B O Y C O T. Boycott? Incorrect. The correct spelling is B O Y C O T T. The word is knock. Knock. K N O C K knock. Correct. <clears throat> the word is moose. Moose. M O O S E. Moose. Correct. The word is holiday. Holiday. H O. L I D A Y holiday. Correct. <clears throat> the word is cartoon. Cartoon. C A R T O O N cartoon. Correct. The word is guess. Guess. G U E S S. Guess. Correct. The word is chowder. Chowder. C H O W D E R. Chowder. Correct. The word is coffee. Coffee. C O F F E. Coffee. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is C O F F. E E. The word is ginger. Um, can I have a sentence? Mm -hmm. Sarva chopped fresh ginger to add to the hot pan along with oil, minced garlic, and her secret <laughs> spice blend. Ginger. G I N G E R. Ginger. 
Correct. <clears throat> the word is bonfire. Bonfire. B O N F I R E. Bonfire. Correct. <clears throat> the word is whisk. Sentence. Rose used a whisk to beat the egg whites into a stiff froth. Whisk. W H I S K whisk. Correct. The word is widget. Can you please put in a sentence? Mm -hmm. The greeting card featured a small widget that played a recorded message when the card was opened. Widget. W I D G E T. Widget. Correct. The word is theme. Theme? Theme. T H E M E. Theme. Correct. The word is dawdle. Sentence. Hmm? Because she doesn't enjoy doing homework, Adeline will often dawdle over her after school snack. Dawdle. Dawdle. D O T T L E. Incorrect. The correct spelling is D A W D L E. The word is quack. Quack, Q A U C K. Incorrect. The correct spelling is Q U A C K. The word is cricket. Cricket. C R I C K E T cricket. Correct. The word is squirm. Squirm. S Q U R M. Incorrect. The correct spelling is S Q U I R M. The word is treadmill. Treadmill. T R E A D M I L L. Treadmill. Correct. The word is crayon. Crayon. C R A Y O N. Crayon. Correct. <clears throat> the word is cowlick. T O W L I C K. Cowlick. Correct. The word is permafrost. Sentence. During the Alaska gold rush, miners had to dig through the permafrost to reach the gold. Permafrost. P-E-R-M-A-F-R-O-S-T. Permafrost. Correct. The word is abandon. Can you please put in a sentence? Hmm? The approaching army forced many people to abandon their homes. 
abandon a b a n d e n abandon incorrect the correct spelling is a b a n d o n The word is daughter. Daughter. D A U G H T E R. Daughter. Correct. <coughs> the word is omen. Omen. O M E N. Omen. Correct. The word is pattern. Pattern. P A T T E R N. Pattern. Correct. The word is novelist. Can I have a sentence? Mm -hmm. Anson's favorite novelist is John Green. Novelist, N-O-V-E-L-I-S-T, novelist. Correct. The word is badger. Badger, B-A-D-G-E-R, badger. Correct. The word is alpha. Sentence. In social animals, the alpha animal is the individual in the community with the highest rank. Alpha. A-L-P-H-A. -A, alpha. Correct. Judges, we're going to skip 123 because it has a homonym. The word is Sword. Sword. S W O R D. Sword. Correct. The word is bribery. Bribery. B R I B E R Y. Bribery. Correct. The word is penguin. Penguin. P E N G U I N. Penguin. Correct. The word is casino. Casino. C A S I N O. Casino. Correct. The word is bristle. Bristle. B R I S S. No. Uh, can I redo that? Bristle. B R I S S E L. Incorrect. The correct spelling is B R I S T L E. The word is developer. Definition. One that improves and subdivides land and builds and sells residential structures thereon. Developer. D-E-V-E-L-O-P-E-R. Developer. Correct. The word is bestow. Bestow, B-E-S-T-O-W, bestow? Correct. <clears throat> the word is cough. Cough, C-O-U-G-H, cough. Correct.
The word is carnival. Repeat the word, please. Carnival. Carnival. C A R N I V A L. Carnival. Correct. <clears throat> the word is calzone. Um, can I have a sentence? Mm -hmm. Jenna's calzone was so large that it nearly covered her plate. Calzone. C A L Z O N E. Calzone. Correct. <coughs> The word is garment. Definition. An article of outer clothing as a coat or dress, usually exclusive of accessories. Garment. G-A-R-M-E-N-T. Garment. Correct. The word is galaxy. Can you use it in a sentence? Mm -hmm. Our solar system is in the galaxy known as the Milky Way. Galaxy. G-A-L-I-X-E-Y. Galaxy. Incorrect. The correct spelling is G-A-L-A-X-Y. The word is ingredient. Ingredient, I-N-G-R-E-D-I-E-N-T, ingredient? Correct. The word is manifesto. Manifesto, M-A-N-I-F. E S T O manifesto. Correct. The word is jubilant. Jubilant. J U B I L E N T. Jubilant. Incorrect. The correct spelling is J U B I L A N T. The word is gelato. Definition. A soft, rich ice cream containing little or no air. Can you repeat the word? Mm -hmm. Gelato. Definition or sentence, yes, yeah, sentence. Mm -hmm. Gelato is made from whole milk unlike American ice cream, which is made from heavy cream and butter fat. Gelato, G-I-L-L-A-T-O. Incorrect. The correct spelling is G-E-L-A-T-O. The word is guardian. Guardian. G A U R D I A N. Incorrect. The correct spelling is G U A R D I A N. Stay up here for right. The word is inclusion. Inclusion. I N C L U S I O N. Inclusion. Correct. Okay, contestant number 10, if you would come forward. This is the final round. If you spell this word correctly, you will be the champion. If not, then the two of you will continue in a new round, okay? The word is balderdash. Balderdash. B 
A L D E R D A S H Balderdash. Correct. So I'm going to invite Ms. France up, but um, let me just say that this B in particular, y'all went through more words than maybe even twice as many words as has been the case in the past. You're all to be congratulated. Any of the final four or five could have been the champion in another year. So you're all congratulated for the hard work you put into it and for being the winner um, at your school. Congratulations. So congratulations, our winner is our winner again, and will represent us at the Spelling Bee at the um, February 27th, and it'll be live on Channel 4, and I'm sure he'll be practicing from here to then. So if I could have all of my Spelling Bee, school Spelling Bee winners up, I would appreciate it. Good morning. Putnam County is the place to be. I'm so thankful to God for our superintendent and to all of the leaders that we have, not just the school board members, but to all of the principals and guidance counselors and each one who spend quality time uh, with these students during the school day. And even more especially the parents and grandparents who spend awesome time seven days a week with these fine students. I just want to reassure each of these students that you represent the entire Putnam County School District and Putnam County as a whole. I also want to commend you because there's not a single loser in this room. All of you are winners. I'm a product of the Putnam County School District graduating from Palatka Central High School some 42 years ago. And I am so grateful to know that our future is secure because each of you are coming up through this school district and we consider you five star triple A second to none. And we're so proud of you because if you spell good, you will read good. If you read good, you will excel in whatever area of life that you choose. And so keep it strong, Putnam County, and God bless us all as you are now all winners. Thank you. Thank you. All right, from Browning Pierce Elementary, our champion from Browning Pierce was Jasmine Moreau. Thank you, Jasmine. From CL Overturf Sixth Grade Center, Liana Yost. Liana. Leona, sorry. From Interlochen Elementary School, Noah Turner. From James A. Long Elementary School, Kylie Shepard. Who made it all the way to the seventh round, quite impressive. From Jinkles Middle School, Ariana Clark. I'm sorry. From Kelly, Mil Kelly Smith Elementary School, Tyriana Cole. From Mellon Elementary, Chad Parrott. From Melrose Elementary School, Snow Whitman, who also made it to round eight. From Middleton Burney Elementary School, Krista Harvey. From, sorry. 
from Mosley Elementary School, Robert Gillen III. From Aquella Elementary School, Lucas Calazzo. From Pinal Baptist Academy, Joe Lee Tucker, who made it to round seven. From Putnam Academy of Arts and Sciences, Jimmy Daughtry. And also making it to round seven was Colton Palmer from QI Roberts Junior Senior High School. And Snow, I probably should have had you wait. I'm sorry. You'll get, we'll give you another one, too. How about that? <laughs> so our runner-up is Snow Whitman from Mel Melrose Elementary School. And our winner, again, for Putnam County School District Spelling Bee for 2020 is Armand Kirkendall. <laughs> Armand is not only placed, given the trophy over here, he gets his name again on the um, plaque that hangs now at Miller Middle School. It will follow you to Miller. And the... Um, a presentation of a plaque from uh, WJXT Channel 4 for your regional participation. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you all parents. If you'll give us just a few minutes, we're going to take a bunch of pictures of the kids. So, but I appreciate all that you have done to support your champions. Thank you.